My name is uh, Brian Murphy. I'm with Lincoln Way High School District 210 out of New Lenox, Illinois. I am currently the Director of Data Assessment and Innovation. I've been in that role for about seven years now. And we look a lot at the data analytics of our school district. We look at a lot of our feeder districts and try and make sure that we put in our students in places where they're gonna to continue to be successful. This year, we started a new initiative in trying to get more students enrolled into our honors programs. So based on data trends that we've seen over the past five years, we've pushed uh, more students in so we have higher enrollment in all of our honors, especially at the freshman level. So what we did is we looked at the front line, and we looked at our five-year history, and we saw a DNF rate uh, for the previous five years of being kind of lower in the honors level. And all of a sudden this year, as we started out with five weeks into the school year, the data shows that we have a higher percentage of students that are earning Ds and Fs. So we took that information to our, our department chairs and our building leaders and said, okay, we're not criticizing the Ds and Fs. We knew that we were gonna be having them, what we're looking at is what are we doing to help these students, right? We have lots of things to help our lower, lower level students. We have a lot of interventions out there. So the question is, what are we doing to help those students that are now in the honors track? It's a new area for us to have to put interventions in because you typically don't put interventions in at the honors level. So now we're looking at a different way. How can we help these students who are maybe new to struggling um, to make sure that they have a successful freshman year? And so now it's just causing our teams to think just a little bit differently right? But we wouldn't have been able to do that had we not had the data to support it. So now I'm able to take the data that we get out of this, out of the software, and I bring it to my teams and say, look at what we can do. Look at the information that we can get. And now you can have access to it as well. And so my building leaders and my department chairs are using the, the software on a regular basis. I had a principal at one of our buildings approach me and say, what are we doing and how are we identifying our students that are struggling, really focusing on our MTSS type of initiatives, right? And so everything that we had in place was based on uh, attendance, on grades, and student behavior. But with all that, we're missing one of the main components. We're missing that social emotional impact, right? So I worked with him a little bit to try and figure out how we can incorporate our counselor visits into the, into the MTSS module. So then once we kind of had an idea of what we were looking for, I came to uh, Frontline and I said, what is it that we can do? And I worked with the team here, and we were able to develop our MTSS page, which incorporates all four components and creates the different tiers. And now our counselors at that school get their emails on a, on a weekly basis. They get them and they come in on Monday morning. They look at that list of students that might be on different tiers, um, and they focus in on that bottom one or two tiers to say, okay, these are the kids that we need to speak to this week. So it's been really great. They've been utilizing this for now over a little over a year. I think we got it in place last year about this time. Um, and it's been very, very impactful and informational for our teams to be able to, to collect all this information. The benefit of using uh, the Frontline uh, software has probably been just the ease of getting the information. Um, we all have different tools that we use uh, to, to collect data, right? By taking all this data, putting it into one little system and pressing a couple buttons, now all of a sudden everybody has what, they, what they're what they looking for. I, you can't compete with that, right? It, you know, when my department chair wants to focus in on the D's and F's and in his Algebra One Honors Classroom, and he goes to Five Lab, presses a button, and his bookmark is already set, and it's updated on a nightly basis, even better, right? So he's not digging through our SIS. He's not going and reaching out to all the different teachers to say, tell me what's going on. So it really does come down to, it's the ease of accessing the information.